I give salam to my people in Bangladesh. Salam to the people of Marrakesh. Are you Greek? No, 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 Ecuadorian, South ah, America, Ecuador. I went to Brazil. Oh, nice. Time ago. Okay. Uh, to Janeiro, Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. For the Olympics. Cool. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. So, um, so, tell me a bit, bit about yourself. You look very fit. Yeah, well, I like how, cycling how, a lot. How, how, how far do you cycle? Uh, like well, I'm here in London for three, four months, so I just do like three hours, four hours, but well, back I mean, in Ecuador. How, how, how much distance do you cover? I came from High Barnet today. Wow. And then uh, I like to come here. You're and fit, man. I do jogging, but I can do 4K max. <laughs> and then after it's that, really good after because you have to look after your body. Yeah, you I'm, have I'm, a clear yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. And it does. Do you not get a dopamine rush? You know, after you finish it's it. It's the runner's high, as they call it. Yeah, the runner's high. I relate to that. Yeah, that's Okay, that's so really you had a question, yes. Yeah, yeah. So let me tell you a bit about my past, uh, where I come from, sorry. So I'm Ecuadorian. I was raised Catholic. Yeah. Very Catholic. Uh, oh, you're Catholic, Rosary. Yeah? No, no, no. I'm okay. telling you my background. Do you mind if we just move here? It's just yeah, we're blocking course, the fire. Can we move a bit here, guys? Because we're blocking the dower table. Sorry, sorry. It's just sorry, right, man. Do you want me to put your bike somewhere so it's, it's, it's... My team can look after it. Okay. Guys, look after his bike, please, yeah? I'm just going to set it here for a second, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Are you at the door? Sorry, brother. Quick, sorry. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Are you at the door? Dua, inshallah. Yes, come quickly. I'm saying clean, innit? I'm just saying. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Take it. Sorry, sorry. Yes, brother. Okay, so a bit about okay, my background. I'm, I'm here see seeking truth. Yes. Uh, I was raised Catholic, yeah. rosary, the whole stuff. Then as I grew, I started reading, reading, yeah. reading. So I thought Catholic is like, no, no, this is, there's something wrong here. Okay. So I started getting more into the Bible. Okay, interesting. And um, I, that's how I found, uh, you know, Jesus Christ, how he died in the cross, this and that. Mm. And I believe in Jesus Christ. Now I, I truly believe in Jesus Christ. Me too, I'm a Muslim, I believe in Jesus Yes, as well. but I have a trouble understanding the Trinity. Yeah, I believe Jesus Christ as my savior. He yeah. came to this earth as a prophet. Yeah. When you're speaking to the previous gentleman, you said there's nothing that says that that he's the son of God, but I yeah. can't remember right now, but yeah. there is something in the Old Testament that talks about that there will be someone who will come and he will die on the cross. But I don't know if you Muslims, uh, if you sorry, no, you Muslims yeah. believe in, in that he really died in the cross. So, so we, okay, so let's, let's break it down a bit. So you're a Catholic. No, 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 no. I'm oh, not oh, Catholic. No. I was raised Catholic. You raised Catholic. But I, now I believe in Jesus. I okay. truly want to believe, but I have trouble understanding the Trinity. Good. Okay. So let's do this here. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, he debunks Trinity in different ways. So he, he addresses the Catholics. He addresses those who are believe in the actual Trinity. And for example, those who just believe in the Son of God. So there's three verses where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, do not say three. So he addresses those who believe in the Trinity. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Jesus, peace be upon him, that did you tell them to take you and your mother as divine besides me? Now this addresses the issues of Catholics, because if you go to the Catholics, they would say we do not, we do not worship Mary, but our concept of Tawheed in Islam, we will say that falls into the category of worshiping. How? For example, if you pray to Mary, if you say, the, the name of Mother Mary, mm -hmm. to us that's associating partners in his uluhiyah, meaning in Islam we have three types. So you see, as Muslims we believe in monotheism, the Christians also claim they believe in monotheism. What is the difference? Let me tell you. We have three aspects of Tawheed. Tawheed is the like, unification, the belief in, of one God. We have Tawheed al rububiyyah which is God Almighty, we single him out in his lordship. So we say when God Almighty created, looks after us, provides for us, takes care of us, protects us. That is him doing that alone without anybody helping him. So we single him out in his lordship. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So we've got the lordship, we single him out in his lordship. Now, many people believe this, even the Quraysh. You know when Islam came to the pagan Arabs? Okay. They affirmed God. They said, we believe in Allah. We believe he's the one who created us. Good. But how did they become disbelievers? Because they committed shirk. Shirk means associating partners to God. Okay. Yeah? So sorry, I know I'm using a lot of terminology, yeah, yeah. sometimes it gets confusing. Now, this is where Islam becomes very unique in its monotheism. Tawheed al -Ulahiyya. We single out God in his worship. Meaning what? When you pray, do you not pray and say, in the name of Jesus? I pray to Jehovah. Good. Okay. When you pray, do you mention Jesus? Um, now that I've been getting more into the gospel, I do pray saying through his, uh, how do I say, it's in Spanish, so I'm trying to try to translate, through his holy blood that was shed for us, for our sins. But I pray only to Jehovah. This is what, this is where it got me, get, I get confused. Good. Because in the Old Testament, 
everything I've read so far, it says that only one God, and even Jesus in the gospel, he prays, he, he taught us to pray Good. to our Father who is in heaven. Good. When he was going to the cross, he said, my Father, why have you why forsaken, forsaken me? me? Okay. All this stuff gets me thinking, like, I, it doesn't really make sense. Do you know what's happening? But we I have accept something Jesus. Called, good, but you know why you're asking those questions? Why is that? Because you have something called the fitrah. Which is? In Islam, it's called your innate disposition. You are born to know, when it comes to the worship of God, you are born with a fitrah. A program inside you that's saying, this doesn't make sense. Now, remember I told you about Tawheed al uluhiyah which is singling out God in worship. We Muslims, when we pray, we don't pray, we don't say, oh, Muhammad, peace be upon him, or Jesus. We do not mention anybody. We mention God directly. Christians, you go to the Christians, they will add Jesus into it. You go to the Catholics, they will add Mary into it. Yeah, you go to whoever and else. And saints, add. yeah. Good, good. Saints and Holy yeah, Spirit, yeah, yeah. rah, rah, rah. Now, this is what makes Islam and the Tawheed elements of monotheism unique. Because otherwise, the Christians claim, claim the same thing. They say we're monotheists. We say, how could you be monotheists when you are claiming that, for example, Jesus was there with the Father from the beginning? Number one. Number two, you, when you pray, you mention his name. Yeah? And you claim him to be divine. So what you're doing here is that you're starting, your fitness is kicking, it's starting, the engine's like, well, hold on, this doesn't make sense to me. Because who was Jesus praying to in the mountain of Gethsemane? When he prostrated, if he's God, do you see? And another aspect that we have in Tawheed is Tawheed al-Asma wa Sifat, which is his names and his attributes. So when they, were, when they asked Jesus, when is the hour? Do you know what he said? No one knows the hour Except but my father. Good. Is he not the all-knowing? Jesus. This is, this is where all this comes exactly. from, all this confusion, because they tell me that when he came onto this earth, he assumed like it was a vessel for God to be, and because God is almighty, he can do that. How? Because God is almighty. One second. When we say God is almighty... Yeah, he can do that though, if, he, no, if God wanted to. No. No? Why not? Why not? Let me tell you why not. People conflate this issue of thinking that if you're almighty, you can do anything. I'll give an example. Maybe it might be a bad one. Let me wait, try Wait, wait, sorry. So you're saying God is not almighty? No, no, he's almighty, yeah. but to say that he can do everything to show his almightiness is, it's flawed. Okay. Let me tell you how. Okay. For example, let's say we had Mike Tyson here. Mm -hmm. So Mike Tyson comes and I go, listen, Mike Tyson, I heard that you're a, you're a very strong boxer. Prove to me how strong you are. He's like, okay, what do you want me to do? I'm, and I say to him, I'm going to punch you in the face. Don't punch me back. Does that show his power or does it show that he's not, uh, he's not powerful? And it shows he's meek. Good. So when we say to show your power to he can be a, a man, we say no, that goes against his nature. For example, do you believe God can lie? But what if really he did want to send his son? No, 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 we say how this do, is the How do we, person. how do you, how do any, how does anyone know? How can we know? Very simple. This is, this is where... Look, Old Testament, yeah. New Testament, yeah. the Quran is the final testament. The Quran came down yeah. to rectify these lies that were done against God and not only that, the Quran came down to protect the honor of the prophets. They say that Lut slept with his own daughters in the Bible. The Quran came to rectify and say that these slanders that are made against prophets. So what I'm saying is the following. Do you believe God can lie? No. Good. Do you believe God can cease to exist? No. Good. Are you limiting God? No. Um, no. Because no, you're saying, well, that's if God in his nature, he can't cease to exist, he cannot lie. So you're not limiting God, you're saying it doesn't befit God's majesty to lie or cease to exist. It's not in his attribute. So that's why we say God cannot become a man. Because how could the all-powerful being who created us become the creation? Do you understand? Yeah. So this is where you're at a crossroad and I'm trying to get you over the bridge. What we're saying is the following, my brother. What was your name? Rod Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Call yeah? me Rod. Simpler. Rod. Okay, Rod. What I'm saying is the following, brother, yeah? You are in the right place. Your heart is yearning for Tawheed, the oneness of God. This doesn't make sense. I didn't come and tell you not to make sense. You said, I'm reading this. It doesn't make sense. He's on the cross and he's saying, my Lord, my Lord, why are you forsaken me? He goes to the mountain, mountain Gethsemane and he prostrates. A man comes and says, He taught oh, us to pray, O oh, Father, who art in heaven. You. Good. Now, I'm asking you a question. Do you not believe that monotheism that Islam has is more pure? That's why I like the Old Testament, and this is where I was looking up. Sorry, I don't know the verses, but there was a prophet. The there was a prophet that said yeah. that there was that Christ was going to come, and he was going to be crucified, and something about. Okay, one thing we need to understand is: yeah. is the Bible reliable? 
The Old Testament, you believe in the Old Testament, no? No, no, no. But the Old Testament that the Jews have is not the Old Testament that we know. So what's, we the, believe, one, what's the difference? We believe in the Torah that was sent to Musa. Moses. We believe in, Moses' book. Moses, yes. We believe in the Injil that was sent to Jesus. But that's not the book that they have today. So we as Muslims, we affirm what was sent to those prophets, but it's not what they have today. See, that doesn't make sense. But the Jews How? were the, the chosen people and they have the original book. No, no, no. Before they, Christianity, but, but they, before but they Muslim, corrupted it. Islam. They yes, corrupted yes. it. Yeah, they corrupted so it. the original is the book of Moses. That's what you're saying. That's where that, you go that from. That was sent to Mo Moses, but it got corrupted. So we don't have it today. That's what Allah says in the Quran. Woe to those who write the scriptures with their own hands. But wasn't hands it found in uh, the God. old scroll? No, no, they found some Dead Sea Scrolls. Some of them Dead were uh, played, uh, fake. And, and it was not even complete. But what I'm saying is this, brother. Look, you have the Old Testament, you have the New Testament, which is not the ones we're talking about. You have the Final Testament. God has sent this final revelation to seal the issue for good. No more prophets, this is the final message and it's calling you to the same way what Jesus called you. We don't say the Father, we say God. Mm -hmm. So which one makes more sense? God is the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Son is not the Father, the Father is not the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not the Son. Or Islam, there is one God, He's unique, we worship Him alone. The, uh, it, it makes sense, but it, it yearns my heart because Why? I believe in Christ. I believe I'm, in uh, Christ. I believe he's a Messiah. Look, I believe in his miraculous birth. I'll be, I'll so you believe he's going to come back? Of course he's going to come back. Look, let me, let me tell you. Look, when you come to Islam, you don't lose Jesus. So he's a... He's a so he comes back. Why did God have the purpose for him me, to come back if me, he's not... Let like, me tell you. Let me tell you. Look, when you come to Islam, you don't lose Jesus. You find the real Jesus, yeah? It's like somebody who thought his father was his father, he found that he's not his father, he found, and he's going to find his real father, yeah? You are, you're like, okay, this is my father, not who was told to me. Now, number one, we believe in his miraculous birth. We believe in his mother. The Jews slander his mother. The Islam came to defend the honor, yeah? She's one of, the, one of the righteous women that the Prophet, peace be upon him, mentioned, four women, yeah? We believe in his miracles, yes? With the permission of God. We believe they tried to crucify him, but God Almighty saved them. God Almighty is not going to let a few, whoever they are, fox. But then you, you did say that he did say, uh, God, uh, Sorry? why have you forsaken me? You did accept that he said no, that. No, 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 no. That's, I'm saying that's what the Bible says. I'm, the I'm using the Bible to show you how could he be good if he's saying, yeah. my Lord, my Lord. Now, so what I'm saying is the point is, yeah? Number one, we believe that they tried to crucify him, but God Almighty saved him and he went to the heavens. He's not, he didn't die. Okay. He's going to come back and the hadith tells us that he's going to break the cross and kill the swine. Why? You know, you know, break the cross and you know, so let me just, sorry, sorry, please, I'm starting to no, understand. No, I am no, a Christian no, 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 and this you, is you know, a you know why intelligent this is conversation yeah, you know that I want to please. Yeah, yeah Rod, you know why it's happening? Yeah. I'm, look, am I, am I putting a gun to your head? No, 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 no. Did I say accept Islam or I'll cut your head? You're, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you. That's what Allah says in the Quran, give them da'wah with the greater jihad, which is the Quran. Well, like, allow us to talk. That's yes. what I need. Oh, well, why we don't need mass destruction weapons? No, no. Anyways, well, like, we don't need nuclear. Well, like, allow us to yeah, preach. Yeah. Anyways, now, the question you asked was? About Jesus that you just, before you said yes. that he, in the cross, he said, Father, you are, why yes. have you forsaken yes. me? And then you said. I'm that. using the Bible. I don't believe in the Bible. Okay. I'm using the Bible to show you how can he be God when he's calling out to a God. Mm -hmm. I'm only using that. Now, I'm going to give you a verse in the Bible just to make you think. Yeah. Jesus says in the Bible, on that day, many will prophesy in thy name and in thy name, they will cast out demons. And then Jesus says, he will say to them, get away from me. I, I never knew know you. you. Yes, yes, yes. Now, one I, second. I've, I've heard who that. prophesies in the name of Jesus and who cast out demons in the name of Jesus? Muslims or Christians? Christians. Good. Now, Jesus is saying to these Christians, when they will come to him, he say, get away from me. I never knew you. Why? Because Jesus is going to say, and this is our belief in Islam. When Jesus comes back, he's going to tell the Christians, I never told you to worship me. When did I tell you to worship me? Show me a single verse in the Bible that Jesus says, clear clock, I am God, worship me. Can you imagine somebody's mission is to come to earth to say this, but he doesn't utter it once. That's from confused as well. Why did not they leave confused. it clear? Like, Baba, you're not confused. Not, you're on the way to the truth. Never, never it was clear. Good. Everywhere I look, it doesn't say clear. And that's why I get confused. So, this is one of the greatest reasons people are leaving Christianity. The greatest, you know, there was a, there was a unit to look. Now, so what I'm saying is the following, Baba. Do you not see that the belief system that we have, yes? We believe in Jesus. We believe in his mother. We believe in his miraculous birth. All we're saying is the following. Allah says in the Quran, tell the people of the book that we come to common terms between us and you that we worship God alone. Is it too much to ask? Look, 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 God has created you, looked after you, your heartbeat, everything that you have. All he's asking you to do is what? Worship me alone and we cannot even do that. We can't even do that. 
And do you not believe, and I'll give you an example. You have mother and father? Of course. Imagine they brought you up to this age. How old are you? 41. Now, don't try. You're 25 years old. 41. I know you're trying to be a young guy. And a, you know, 42, 26 of June, so I'm nearly okay, you married? Yes, sir. Okay, no, I was going to say, if you accept Islam, we'll get you married as well. <laughs> but you're allowed to have a second wife. That's okay. so I'm joking. Now, your parents brought you to this age. Actually, yeah. no, you know what? You're, are you a father? Yes, yeah, my father, yeah. Good. Imagine you give, you, brought, you, you looked after your kids yeah. when they were a baby. Yeah. Changed their nappies. You looked after them. You brought them up. Imagine your son or daughter gets up and says, you know what? You're not my dad. I don't know you. You see that guy there? I'm going to go and say thank you to him. That's what exactly is happening how, how, to my life. How would you feel? Oh, is this? Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is weird. Go okay, on, that's, that's, that's okay. I, I'm sorry to hear no, that. No, 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 it's, it's funny. But, but okay, how does that make you feel? Empty Do you not inside. think ungrateful, ingratitude? Empty inside, yeah. Empty inside. And guess what? Allah says in the Quran, the obedience to the parents is one of the major sins. If you, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, may his face be uh, rubbed in dust. May his face be rubbed in dust. And he repeated it again. May his face be rubbed in dust. For the one who reaches, his parents reach old age and they leave them. It's a major sin. I'm seeing this today in Britain. Yeah. There are, I know one brother who works for care homes. Yeah. There are parents dying alone and their kids are on holiday. This is evil. So the point I was saying is what? It's painful. Now imagine when God has created us and we, what do we do? Instead of thanking God, we say Jesus or Muhammad, not just Jesus, Moses. This is blasphemy. This is the pinnacle of ingratitude. We say this but is wrong. More than Allah. And there is not a single yeah. Muslim here would say to you Muhammad that we worship Muhammad. No, no, I know so that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That. So what I, I'm saying is, brother, that. is that come to the truth. The truth is what? Worship God alone? We're not asking for much. That's what I do. I worship to Jehovah, no, okay, Yahweh, okay, okay. Yahweh. No, no, but what I'm saying to you is this, bro. We believe that the final testament, the Quran. Have you read the Quran before? No, no. Okay, I'm going to give you a copy. Look, the Quran. I, I found the Quran biking in the park on the floor. You and found I it took on the floor? Home, and I took it home. Wow, look at this. Yeah? I haven't started reading it, but okay, I found good. it on the floor. No problem, yeah? What I'm saying is this. Do you think that's a coincidence? Do you think it's a coincidence you came and spoke to me today? He was riding a bike and he found the Quran on the floor and he took it home. Do you think that's a coincidence, bro? Can you imagine riding a bike and you see a Quran? Hard cover everything. Really Hard nice cover. One. Well, like, look, brother. When Allah sees the goodness of a heart, He sends signs. When he sees sincerity, he I've been sends praying. Signs. I've been praying for a sign. Good. The sign, inshallah, with the permission of Allah, we're trying to convey it. Yeah? You already have one? Yeah, I have one. I have Do you one. want this or you already I, have I, one? I have one. I'll take it because uh, this is a special moment because you've, you've helped me a lot. I'll, no problem. I'll, ch I'll cherish okay, it. Check it. But what I'm saying is this, brother, yeah? What is stopping you from accepting Islam? Okay. Uh, now, remember when you said God cannot lie, God yes. cannot deceive. Yes. This is, I don't know, it's just stuff you read on internet and you see on YouTube videos, they said that there was a prophet, to the prophet, he said um, something along the lines that he lied, God lied to him, Allah lied to him, saying that there was not 30 soldiers he was going to fight, there was only 10, something along those lines, just so he, just so he, he gets the strength. I don't know, it's on YouTube and I was like, no, no, how could, how could God do yeah, that? Yeah, God cannot we don't, we don't deceive. That, yeah. We don't believe God does that, yeah. Okay. I, I haven't personally never deceived, that. never deceived I, in a dream no. or an angel. No, no, there was no, no, something no, 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 I, uh, no, 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 no. probably on YouTube because you know there's yeah, so, you know, you know, a lot of information, there's a lot of disinformation out there. Exactly, so and very... that's why God has sent you here today and we can clarify that for you. There's no such thing. We don't believe in that. Never deceived in dreams. No, no, it can't. How could God deceive? Now, for example, there is a verse in the Quran where when it comes to Jesus' crucifix crucifixion that, for example, the word here, we do not ascribe it to Allah. We don't say Allah is the deceiver, Awadha Billah. We do not say that. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used, I wouldn't even use the word deception. It's, it's, it's basically, for example, you know when somebody goes undercover to take the mafia out? Mm -hmm. He needs to pretend that he's a police or he's an undercover. undercover yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. what's the aim? The aim is to stop their evil. So we say God Almighty, the word that's used, it's not, it's not necessarily deception, is it? It's not, we don't, we don't describe. We say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did that, but we do not say that's his attribute. Because we learned this, that there's certain so, things Allah so does, where, but where, where did he, When did he do that? Where did he do that? What was the to context the Jews, behind it? To the Jews that he were trying to crucify him. So they, they were made to think that they crucified Jesus, but they didn't. To the evil people. But, but then again, the scriptures say that the Jews even lied and uh, put guards in the tomb so that they would, so no, that no, this wouldn't happen. I'm not talking about the Bible. Yeah, yeah, this stuff yeah, yeah. that comes to my head. Yeah, in the Quran, what we're saying is that in that very instance, that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deceived the evil people. 
So do you see it's to a specific people? Mm. But we don't say Allah's name, uh, attribute is the deceiver. We don't say that. Do you get it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants, God Almighty wants paradise for you. All he asks you to do is what? Worship him alone. Acknowledge him in your life. Not Jesus, not Muhammad, peace be upon him, none of them. You know? And I, and I believe you're already there. You, all you're doing is you're praying to a God, we don't call him Jehovah. We believe it's the same God, Jehovah and, okay, look, and Allah. Okay, what we say is not necessarily by Yahweh. name. We say Allah. Allah is the true God. Allah in Hebrew means God, literally Ila, God. Ila, uh, yeah. So what, what I'm saying is though, you're in the right track, yeah. But you now, what you're saying to me, bro? No Christian will come and say you're a Christian. Because I you doubt. Find, none of them will come and say you're a Christian. Do you believe Jesus to be a prophet? Yes. You're not a Christian. You know what they say to you? They say, bro, you're not a Christian. Sorry. So right now, what you're saying, if somebody heard you, they'll say, oh, this guy's a Muslim. Because what you're saying is Islam. I don't know, it's really hard. It, it breaks you inside, I don't know. Okay, okay. Look, breaks you inside, yeah? Sometimes Allah says in the Quran, you might hate something which is good for you, and you might love something which is bad for you, yeah? What we're saying is we're not taking Jesus away from you. We're not taking Mary away from you. No, we're I don't believe taking... in Mary. I, don't, I mean, no, as, a, be, as a God, yeah, no, I don't exactly, pray no, to Mary. No, 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 but we believe in I Mary. I believe in her, she's a saint. Jesus, exactly. She's a saint, exactly. not as in the most saint woman that ever existed. I believe that, but okay. I don't pray to her. Okay, no, no, of course, but what I'm saying is you believe in the oneness of God. Yeah. You believe Mary is the mother of Jesus? Yes, sir. She was a, she was a righteous a holy woman? Holy woman, yes. A righteous woman? Yes. Yes? You believe Jesus? Yes. Is it, okay. The only thing you're missing here is the Prophet Muhammad. Do you believe the Prophet Muhammad is the final prophet? I don't have enough educated Good. information. Good. If I prove to you the Prophet Muhammad is the final prophet, would you accept Islam? Prove to me as in... I can show you uh, miracles. Like Jesus did with the... Not necessarily. Like for example, the miracles of Jesus, peace be upon him, no Christian can come and prove it to an atheist. Then why is uh, sorry, Muhammad not coming back like Jesus? No, and no, Jesus okay. is coming back. So okay. that, that puts him in a higher, not most holy position. Not necessarily. You know why? Because the thing is, at the end of the day, Jesus is coming back to tell the Christians, he told them that he's not God. He I has, don't believe that that's the only reason he's coming no, back. That's one of the reasons he's coming back. He's one coming of the back. reasons. He's, okay, going, he's going to come to uh, defeat the uh, Antichrist. Yes, yes, yes. Good, yes. so we believe that. Yeah, this, he has many purposes. But one of them is him coming and telling the Christians he never told him to worship them, which is one of the most fundamental things. So what we're seeing is that we don't look at the degrees of the prophets based on, for example, how many times is he mentioned in the Quran? How many, Moses mentioned more times in the Quran by name than the Prophet Muhammad. But the Prophet Muhammad has been referred to, not by directly by name, but he is. So we don't measure. We say all of these prophets were righteous. But the Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him status is, is, is of course different. So what we're seeing in a nutshell is if I prove to you the Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet, would you accept please, it? Please, please, show okay, me. Okay, good. So I'm going to give you three evidences, yeah? yeah? And these are the only three options that we can have, unless okay. you want to add, yeah? Yes, yes, please. Either the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was a truthful person, his mm -hmm. message was true. Either he was lying or he was deluded. Three options. Or his message got corrupted along the line. It can't be because we have evidence that the Quran has been preserved. It cannot be corrupted. Because we there's there's little kids that memorize our Quran by heart. That's one thing that we have as Islam in Islam. Since since Muhammad since no the, but there's to, always been check there. Out. The one of the things that Islam is known for is the Quran that we have today is the Quran that we had at the time of the Prophet Muhammad. You can't say go to the Christians, they'll accept you, they'll say to you the Bible is corrupted, we accept it. The Quran, you know what Allah says in the Quran? We have sent this book and it is among, upon us to protect it. You know, I'm a, I became a Muslim 10 years ago, me. 13 years ago, for three years, I was looking into different religions. I had one criteria. Any religion I'm gonna follow, the scripture should not be corrupted. I looked into the Bible, contradictions, verses added in, Bible, look, there's 66 books. 73 books, 86 books. Which one is the Bible? The no, Quran? No, that's, that's what I have conflict with. Why Good. did they choose one, Good. why not the other? Now, like the, this? Quran has, the Quran has 114 chapters. 6,200, 6,326 verses, something along those lines. Not to change. Done. From the time of the Prophet Muhammad to today. I can recite the Quran here, I'll make a mistake, they'll correct me. Do you get it? Yep. So we have it preserved. That's one of his miracles. Because what does Allah say in the Quran? We have sent the Quran and it is upon us to preserve it. Now, that has been proven. Now, let me give you a uh, evidence, historical evidence. In the Quran, there's a chapter called Chapter Rome. Historically, there's a man called Edward Gibbons. So he talks about the downfall of the empires. He talks about the Roman Empire specifically. So 
the Persian Empire and the Roman Empire, they used to fight each other. At one moment of time, the Persians defeated the Romans. Yeah? Really badly. So Edward Gibbons and many historians say Rome was at the brink of collapse. Forget coming back and fighting, brink of collapse. Do you know what Allah says in the Quran? Should you read it for yourself? Okay. Check this out, brother, yeah? I'm gonna open the Quran, yeah? Let's go to Surah Rum. Alif Lamim. The Romans have been defeated. Yeah. This is the Quran, revelation. Mm -hmm. In the nearer land, and after their defeat, they will become what? <laughs> One second. Within a few years, to Allah belongs the matter before Him and belongs Him the hereafter. So let me get this right. The Persians have defeated Romans. Yeah? yeah. The Prophet Muhammad is coming and saying this is from God. I want to ask you a question. If you lived at that time and you saw the Persians destroy the Romans, annihilate. Would you say? The Romans are going to come back and win, or would you say the opposite? The opposite. Good. The Prophet Muhammad, through the revelation, not from him, Allah says in the Quran, the Romans in a couple of years are going to come and beat the Persians. Two questions. Number one, what is the need to make the statement? Number two, it puts your whole cause in jeopardy. Because it's such a bold statement, it's like me saying America destroyed Cuba, and Cuba's going to come back and destroy America. It's a bold claim and it puts his message at risk. And what did I say to you? He's either truthful, liar or deluded. Why would he take such a risk if he was after money and treasures? Because he's almighty. Not, okay, not the, uh, the Prophet of No, no, no okay, God, now, that's why he gave you the message. Good, now guess what happens? Edward Gibbons, non-Muslim historian. The Romans defeated the Persians in a matter of 37 years. How is this the case? How could he have known? It's against, all the odds. it's against all odds, bro. If you're gonna do any bet, betting is haram, by the way. That's the least option, but they'll pay you probably one million pounds if you make that kind of bet. Who could that be from? How did you know this? Yeah, but there's a lot of prophecies throughout all the, the old books. Let Jews, Christians, there's all, a lot of prophecies. Let me tell you something. The Prophet Muhammad's prophecies, every single one has come true. Okay. I can show you prophecies in the Bible that were made that didn't come true. Many people, or false prophets, not came. true yet, maybe. Not, no, no. Not to, it's already passed. Okay. Many. Now, I can give you more of these prophets. This is one. I can give you 10, 20, yeah, 30, yeah, yeah. 40. No, no, no. I got the point. I got the point. Now, either he's lying, he's truthful, or he's deluded. Now, let's go with the delusion. His, you know his son died. The Prophet Muhammad's son. Okay. He died. I didn't know. Yes. So when he died, the moon eclipsed. So people came rushing to him and said, your son died, the moon eclipsed. You're truthful. If somebody's deluded, what would he say? He would say, yeah, see, I'm a prophet, yeah? Do you know what he said? He said, no. The moon doesn't eclipse when nobody's there. Coincidence. No, not coincidence. We say he could have, if he was lying or deluded, he could have taken advantage of the situation. Mm. But what did he do? He said, the moon doesn't eclipse for nobody's death. He rejected it. He said, no, no, don't believe this. So we can humility, say he's not deluded. Humility. humility and he's not deluded. Good. Now, either he's a liar or he's truthful. Now, he went to his, the pagan Arabs. They were rejecting him. They didn't believe in his message. They knew him, they said to him, you're a truthful man, but we don't believe you. Now, he stood on a mountain and he said to the Quraysh, the pagan Arabs, if I tell you guys, there's an army behind this mountain coming to kill us, would you believe me? They said, of course we believe you. We know you to be the truthful ones. He said, I'm telling you, I'm the messenger of God. They said, we don't believe you. You see your eyebrows, yeah? Why would you accept one message, but when he says on the prophet of God, he says no. So, that shows that number one, he was a truthful person. Now, if he was a liar, why did somebody lie? For worldly gains, etc. The Quraysh came to him and said, stop preaching your message of Islam. We will give you as many wives as you want. As many wives as you want. Money, treasure, will give you high status. He could have said, okay, thank you. You know what he said? He said, if you give the moon on my left and the sun on my right hand, I will not stop. Does this sound like a liar to you? Mm. Okay, so now the ultimate question comes where is Jehovah Yahweh yeah. Allah? That's, yeah. that's the last big question I've got. Let me tell you. Sorry to stop no, no, you there, no, no, but no, from Abraham, yeah. Ishmael, 
and uh, Isaac, if I'm not Ishaq? mistaken. Okay. They were the two lines, yes. Yes. and that's where they come from, right? Yes, and we believe the Prophet Muhammad comes from the line of Ismail. And Ismail uh, was from the sl Egyptian woman? Uh, and uh, slave, and Isaac, yes. yeah. Yes. He but, was came from a promise, didn't he? Yes. But he came also, from a miracle. Also, so that's the, the two Bible, lines, right? In, also in the Bible, it says that God Almighty will also bless Ismail's yeah, yeah. lineage. Now, Ismail goes to the line of Kedar. K K is it Kedar? Kedar, yes. Yeah. That's what I told you I need you. Kedar, yeah. So what I'm saying is this: the Prophet's lineage goes back there. Now, what does Allah say in the Quran? So what? Allah is God, is Abraham's God, is of Jehovah, course, is Yahweh. Yes, Allah says in the Quran, was. Abraham, was he a Jew or a Christian? At the time, he wasn't a Jew because Jews would come after Jacob. Thank you. That's when, Thank that's you. when the Thank you. Israel. Okay. Israel means Jacob, isn't okay. it? Okay, so was he a Christian? No. Good, so what is Allah saying to the Christians and Jews? Abraham wasn't a Jew, Abraham was a Christian. Abraham was someone who worshipped God alone. Monotheism. Good. Yes. Yes. We believe he's a Muslim. Anybody that says, I testify, there is one worthy of worship, yes? And the Prophet Muhammad's final messenger, you are a Muslim. Now, when you talk about Jehovah, I don't know much about Jehovah and his attributes. Yeah, is he, what yeah. is Yahweh? I don't know, yeah? So what I see is, in Islam, the Jews have an issue, for example, of certain attributes of Allah, which is, he rested on the sixth day, I mean, seventh day. Now, some in of them Genesis, say, yeah, yeah. yeah, some say we don't mean it literally, but we say it doesn't befit, that's why we have Ayatul Kursi in the Quran, yeah? We don't believe God Almighty rests. Rested as in, uh, what I understand is as in to complete, contemplate his creation, not that he physically okay, needed God, to have a rest. We don't believe God contemplates in the sense of like, did I make a decision? No, look, Allah, what he said, there's no questions. So, the reason why I'm telling you to worship Allah, which, you're, 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 it's like you're worshipping him by the name, you're, 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 and who he is connected to Jeho Jehovah, yeah? Mm -hmm. In Islam, we say that with God Almighty, for you to worship God Almighty, you need to have the correct information. If you don't, then you're going to think, like you said, you're wondering, you're searching, you found him, but you're calling him Jehovah. We're saying is that's Allah. So all we're saying is that let's affirm Allah's attributes, number one. He does not sleep. He's not, he doesn't get tired, yeah? He's the all-knowing, he's the all-powerful, he's the all-wise. These attributes, because you only have to truly know who he is, to worship him. There's no deficiencies. There's no deficiencies. Perfect. So all what we're doing now is you seeing the Quran when you're riding a bike to come into the park and overhearing a conversation and trying to get involved. These are all signs, brother. Uh, God Almighty sees a sincerity in your heart and he's making the pathways easy for you to come to Islam. Now, I can't force you, but all I can say is I see goodness in you and I see sincerity in you. You're here I, listening. I pray, I pray. And, uh, yeah. So, I brother, know. maybe your prayers today will get answered. Do you believe now the Prophet Muhammad, there's good evidence to show he's the final Prophet? There's good evidence to show him, yeah, he's the Prophet. Then I'll... you, my friend, are a Muslim. You believe in the oneness of God. You worship him alone. You believe the Prophet Muhammad is the final messenger. I believe I in Christ. I prove to you, you believe in Jesus, which you have to. If you, said to if you said to me, don't if you Christ. say to me, and that's what believe in Shaitan, you're not Sh Christ. Satan. You know, Satan. Satan. you know Satan? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we believe in them as well. The enemy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, they exist, yeah? So, what is the job of Satan? To so stop see. you... Look, look, let me tell you something. Just ignore. Let me tell you something. Do you know Satan doesn't care if you drink alcohol, murder? Do you know what Satan wants? He wants you in hell forever. And what is the biggest blasphemy? To associate partners to God. You understand? So, Satan... If I'm, look, I do boxing here and there. I want to knock out my opponent. I can jab him here and there, but I want to knock him out. Satan wants to knock you out. How? He's not going to do that when having sex before marriage, drinking alcohol, murder. No, no, no. He wants the ultimate blow, which is what? Associating them partners to God. So that's why it's Isn't Muhammad a partner to Allah? No. So he not. preaches his messages, he... No, it's fine. Isn't no. that a partnership? No, no way. Please because explain, say, please explain. Let me explain. The Prophet Muhammad, he's died. Yeah. He's passed away. Yeah? Mm -hmm. He's dead. But so, during his life, he had a partnership. Sorry, just, no, no, no. Please. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, do you not, do you not over praise me? Yes. Like, like how the Christians have over praised Jesus son of Mary. Yes. He literally says like the Christians. Yes, yes. You know why? Wow. He even said, do not my grave, do not make it like a shrine. Yeah? Exactly. By the way, we have this problem today with some Muslims. They go and start uh, praying to, uh, to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, asking him for help. We say this is wrong. Completely Many people watching agree. this, well, let's say this finish you. The point is what? The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he lived and he died. Died in the bodily sense. We believe his soul is there, he's alive. Yes? Mm -hmm. 
Mm. So, we do not have that, what they have, co-equal to God. It's shirk. It goes against our commandment. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So all it is, Baba, is that I would say it's I invite... Really, it's really, yeah. I don't know, all your statements and like uh, the book, the final prophecy, I mean, it, it, it makes sense a lot to me. So, like, so then what's stopping you, brother? I don't know, I don't know, I really don't know. Okay. I really don't know. Okay, brother. just, I don't know. Okay, listen. If there is nothing <sighs> stopping you, I, as your brother in faith, would you, if you show me going into the fire, would you stop me? If you're going into, if I get burnt, I'll stop you, help Good. you. Why? Because you? Because we're all brothers. Good. We're all I see you as a brother in humanity and I want to see a brother in Islam. So I want, I don't know when anyone can die. Yeah? And you're a fit guy. I know you, I can see you're doing those cycles. Yeah? But I want the best for you. So I'm going to have Amen. to push you a little bit. Except Islam, brother. You've got nothing to lose. You've got nothing to lose. You're sincere. Allah is giving you signs. You see Quran on the floor, brother. Fully intact. So I would say, I invite you to Islam, brother. All you have to do is just repeat after me. You take shahad. The thing is, the thing is, it's something really personal, and it's like the Brother, moment, you know like we there's can, cameras. Let's this turn and that. all the cameras off. Let's no, no, go. No, let's no, go. no, no, it's, it's, no, no, no. You know what I'm trying to say is just something I've been seeking, like the truth, you know. And I don't want to make it like, oh, you know what I mean. You know what's that called? You are sincere. You are a sincere man. The fact that you're saying I don't want to, you can make it. This shows sincerity. Now I'm not saying people who do it on camera is not sincere, but you are so careful. And sincerity, ikhlas. Because I know God is looking at me, you know, I want to yes. do Can good for him. Can me and you go and get something to drink? Off camera. Just here. Uh, we can create something off camera, we can have a chat, we can carry on.